Democrats have lost just a wee bit on that uh, news, uh, not a great deal. But uh, clearly, this is not terribly good news. We've got a third month of contraction. One was hoping with a bit of luck from the steel and cement sectors, uh, things might get better. But uh, the bad news was all over the place. Uh, remember, commercial vehicles uh, fell by about 31% in the month of February. Imports and exports fell by over 20%. Now, I know we are not a very great exporting country. It's maybe 2% of the total GDP. But nevertheless, those were negative. What was worst was credit offtake. Credit offtake, which was running at 30% until last February and fell to a 27% by end of uh, calendar 2008 is now at 17.2%. There was a major contraction of credit in the months of Jan and Feb. So all the, uh, the chickens, if you please, are coming to roost and uh, you are seeing a third month of negative inflation numbers or contraction in, uh, uh, sorry, industrial output numbers. Not very good, but the big, big point is it was not expected to be any different, uh, Correct. Ashu. Can I just wanted to get a question from Internil. Internil, if we can just keep the market on the side for a moment and focus on these numbers, uh, would you say this is a lag indicator or do you believe uh, uh, that perhaps the economic scenario hasn't changed that much as perhaps the markets are, you know, anticipating or, or feeling about? Uh, what's your opinion on the economic scenario itself as it stands right now and can the number get worse as we go ahead? Uh, for the economic scenario, I think for India specific, if we are talking about going forward, March also should be reporting a negative on the export. So these are the these are the lead indicators that we would be taking to determine what is the type of production uh, sort of offtake that is happening. The positive side for India is obviously that to a certain extent demand from the rural segment is still strong. So there would not be a very very sharp downward movement on the IIP. But I think from the from whatever sense I am getting, the India's IIP number should remain in the negative territory for uh, some more time. Uh, in general, uh, some of the internals of the IIP have come in and it's capital goods that's just taking it away and I think that's what's holding the market. Capital goods are up 10%. You know, these are extremely lumpy numbers and uh, therefore are not, uh, you know, amenable to a trend. But capital goods up 10%. We have seen uh, uh, very poor numbers last time around. Capital goods uh, uh, for some time now were showing single digits. But I think even in January, they were not quite bad. January capital goods is actually 15% higher. Okay, so compared to the month-on-month -month numbers, uh, capital goods perhaps uh, looks like a repeat performance. But uh, uh, let's look at the other numbers. Consumer durables are up 5.7%. That again is pretty positive. Uh, the intermediate goods are down. Those are the ones that have been the weak link, you know, the chemicals and uh, um, say machine tools, those goods have uh, continued to show a contraction 5.4% lower. Consumer non-durables are also down. That's, uh, you know, the perishables, the FMCGs, that's down 55 a bit of a surprise over there. Mining was always expected to be down because the numbers came out in the core sector. That's come down 1.7%. Electricity generation, again, flat at 0.7%, always expected to be bad because we got those numbers uh, when the core sector numbers were released a couple of days ago. So not too many surprises, except that uh, capital goods have come in a decent 10.4%, 15.4% a month ago in January, and uh, uh, therefore that looks okay. But uh, uh, consumer durables, again, putting up a spirited performance at 5.7. Consumer durables in January grew only at 25 So coming in at 5.5 or 55 uh, that's not a bad performance in terms of consumer durables. Uh, the others are more or less on expected lines. We have another guest joining us, uh, Dr. Samitra Chaudhary, economic advisor at ICRA. Uh, Dr. Chaudhary, uh, three consecutive months of contraction. Uh, if you can uh, look forward, when do you think uh, the uh, industrial output can improve at least that much to put in a positive number? Most probably for the month of March. Uh, you know, the ones that you just spoke about, one is chemicals. Mm -hmm. There's something, probably there's some destocking going on, and that is one of the reasons. That's one of the main reasons is pulling down the overall uh, IIP manufacturing sector number. Mm -hmm. The second is food and uh, which is the one that you mentioned about consumer perishables. Yes. It's really sugar crush. Sugar crushing is much less this year because the sugar cane harvest is also smaller and we're sitting on very large stocks. And I think that's one of the reasons why the food sector is showing about 15 to 16 percent minus growth and thus pushing down the consumer non-durables. Uh, I think the fact that the machinery sector in the month of uh, January grew 17 percent and the overall capital goods sector grew 15 percent. 
I think he is uh, testimony to the fact that uh, while some sections of parts of the economy have for a variety of reasons been affected very adversely, but other sectors are still ticking over and I think improvement will be gradual, mm -hmm. but improvement will certainly be there. Okay. Well, I'll come to that in just a bit, uh, Dr. Chaudhary. Some positive news. It's not three consecutive months of uh, contraction. January has been revised upward, and I think a lot of people expected that to happen. It is, uh, well, not a, a very big difference. From a minus half, we are at a plus half, or actually, to be precise, uh, plus 0 0.4. So we have saved the blushes of three consecutive months of contraction. It is a contraction this month. It was not a contraction in January. It's come in at 0.4%. So the overall uh, April, February industrial growth now comes in at 2.8 percent. That really is the question, uh, Dr. Chaudhary. You know, the last time we saw a very poor uh, yearly average, I think was in 2002, it was 2.6 yearly average. If we looked at the previous slowdown, you know, when we slowed down after that big 1995-1996 growth in industrial output at double digits, we fell to about 6% for a couple of years and then to 3.8% in 99. You know, the long drawn slowdown lasted about uh, three or four years with intermittent spurts. Uh, what is your estimate, Dr. Chaudhary? Is this going to be a very long drawn uh, uh, slowdown where we may be in low single digits for a couple of years at a, at, uh, at a stretch? I don't think so. And I, the reason I'm saying that is the late 90s slowdown mm -hmm. was for a re set of reasons which are not in evidence today. Companies had invested in projects which were not remunerative. They had balance sheets which were in serious trouble. Commodities have gone through the floor. Oil was at $11 a barrel. And so was steel was at $170 a ton. That was the circumstances in which he had that enormous slowdown. A combination of many events, and most of those factors are not present today. So I think this is a comparatively short period. I think as general economic conditions improve, uh, industrial output will also improve. Well, uh, Indranil, would you uh, share the optimism? Uh, what is your own estimate about when uh, uh, the contraction might end? What's your estimate for FY10 or even the first half of FY10? I think uh, I, I wouldn't be able to give you an exact numerical estimate at the moment, but I think the general sense that I'm getting is that the, from the global perspective, I'm not really looking at a revival by even end of 2009. So uh, unless the house prices stop falling, the consumer sentiments can't improve in my opinion. So exports will continue to be negative while the demand drivers for India in terms of the farm loan waivers, the rural segment, the six pay commission, those would be uh, those would be positive for the demand side. So overall, I think uh, by the uh, the sort of the middle of the third quarter or towards the end of the third quarter, we should see the Indian economy at least on a stable path and the uh, sharp negative risks that we were talking about uh, just about say two months back or so shouldn't be there anymore. So that, that's the perspective that I would take from the Indian economy today. Right. Uh, Idrinil, uh, um, and perhaps I'll push this question to Samitra also, but Idrinil, first to you. Um, you know, capital goods is not something that you can just cut off. If you've got a project going on in October or in uh, November, you know, you'll probably continue with your orders. Uh, it's not like you just switch it off and say, fine, I'm not buying any more capital goods. Uh, how much should I read into this 10% growth? Because, uh, you know, we were uh, on a roll uh, as far back as September and October. Could these be just orders that are fulfilling a project? What about new pro uh, orders? Because import numbers have fallen by 30%. Uh, should we add these two up and say, perhaps we're just really living with a lag Perhaps this is not the way it's going to go forward, or, or I'm not reading into the right stuff. So perhaps you can share what you think. I think from the investment perspective, the, the, uh, it, it needs to be realized that the significant uptick in investment that India had experienced was mostly out of the foreign capitals. Uh, you rightly pointed out that to a certain extent there would be uh, certain leads and lags for the projects and therefore the capital goods imports and the capital goods production would be necessary. But the big uptick in the capital goods imports is not likely unless the global economy stabilizes, unless India once again receives huge amount of capital inflows and that should be the, uh, the turning point in terms of the capital goods. The other thing, the other significant item of the capital goods is also the consumer, uh, the, the commercial vehicles, which to a certain extent I feel should remain soft uh, for some time. 
So overall, I think it would be a mixed bag for the capital goods segment as a whole. Uh, on one side, issues like uh, the slowdown in the commercial vehicles will continue, whereas there can be slight steadiness in in terms of the production of the project goods. Bag is how the industry.